Hey there, and welcome to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. And today, we're doing a quick video here on the Amiga 1200 with its new and improved Indivision Mark III AGA Flicker Ficker, Flicker Fixer thingy. Flicker fixer? Words. I can't say words right now. So yes, as you can see here, we are looking at an 800 by 600 screen on this. Let's go down here and show you. Here is an Amiga 1200 with nothing in it other than a flicker fixer from Indivision, the Mark III, right? But why are we seeing a 800 by 600 screen? Well, in part, that's because we are using this. Let me go show you. We are using the Super 72 Extreme High Graphics and HD 720 monitor profiles. Now, these were given to me by 10-minute Amigo Retrocast, Douglas Compton himself. These are monitor profiles that you can download from AmyNet and then tweak to your heart's desire that work with the Mark III uh, you know, a flicker fixer for the Amiga 1200 and actually Amiga 4000. And with that, you can get your stock Amiga, and I mentioned this in a previous video, you can get your stock Amiga, AGA Amiga, to do an 800 by 600 screen. It will also do a 1280 by 720 screen, but I'm using 800 by 600 because it's a four by three aspect screen and it looks beautiful. There's no, you know, artifacting or weird scaling happening with the fonts. Everything is super, super clean a lot like an RGB to HDMI. So you can get clean RGB to HDMI Amiga output on an AGA Amiga, you just need this Intervision Mark III to do it. Watch what happens when you fire up a non-Amiga, uh, you know, HD 720 or high graphics program like Lightwave here. And yeah, so yes, you get the nice uh, standard Amiga screen here. And you will see that the scaling does look kind of chunky monkey. And that's just how it's going to be because unlike the RGB to HDMI, this is just a straight up, you know, flicker fixer scan converter. So it has to deal with the native modes being presented to it. You know, you're running Lightwave over there and then you're also running Workbridge in 800 by 600 and you've only used 700K. Well, let's get a little closer look at that. I am in 800 by 600, which in this case is Super 72 high re, Super High Res Lace mode. If you look over here and see how it says 800 by 600, but I'm only in 16 color mode. And the reason I'm in 16 color mode is because this gives me a nice, fast, you know, reasonably fast, you know, Amiga fast workbench response, and it doesn't, you know, chew up all my chip memory, okay? So you do have to balance it. That's something to think about. But I know I've, I've made other videos about the wonderful AGA Mark III here. Some videos are good, some videos are bad. I know the guys that make this product hate me because I made one video that they thought I trashed them, but you know, it's just because I was learning how to use it. And I'm it, as all my videos are, much like this one, I just show you guys like we're all hanging out together looking at stuff. And I'm like, hey man, this is how this thing works. And then maybe I don't know how it works because I didn't read all the documents. But anyway, Doug helped me out, got me the monitor profiles. We now have this beautiful artifact free 800 by 600 screen. It's really awesome. And yes, I can still run my native Amiga modes. Now, one, one of the things you're gonna get now and then is you see, if you look down here, you're gonna see this like weird glitchiness. This does happen occasionally with the Mark III. This is just, this is basically uh, video memory not getting refreshed or updated. Uh, one of the quick, one of the quickest fixes you can do is just go quit the program, quit the program here. Here we go, quit it. All right, and then go ahead and just jump back into it. Boom, buffers cleared up, no problems. Here's another neat thing. The modeler program of Lightwave, where you create the things to animate, you can actually go up to display, go to options here, 
And you can actually pick that same Super 72 workbench mode. So basically Modeler is doing the old thing where you use workbench resolution mode. Here you go. So this is pretty sweet because now you've got the LightWave Modeler here using that 800 by 600 mode and uh, it looks great. It's like super clean and there's no weird scaling or, or, or weirdness. And yeah, you get this nice, sweet, you know, this is something back in the day you had to use RTG to accomplish. This kind of resolution on an Amiga, you had to buy an RTG card. But here using native uh, AGA chipset Amiga with this uh, Mark III thing, uh, you're, you're, off, you're off and running with, uh, well, as long as you've got the monitor profiles that the Mark III people do provide as a download. And Doug, he did actually give me some optimizations. Now, if any of you out there have this and you're not experiencing the same kind of awesomeness I'm experiencing, I will absolutely share these monitor profiles. Just drop me a comment below and I can put them up. I'm sure Doug won't mind sharing these monitor profiles. I know he likes to spread the Amiga love and joy as much as I do. So that's it. Just wanted to show you this awesome uh, uh, Indivision Mark III doing more modern and honestly stuff you'd expect from an RTG card, not just a flicker fixer. Uh, this is pretty sweet. I love it. I guess that shows how awesome the AGA chipset really was even back then. Uh, you know, it could do a lot more than Commodore ever gave it credit. Thanks for watching. I guess, uh, I guess I'm done with this video.